Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a super easy and super fun speed glitch that works with almost any vehicle in the game. If you go on to enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to do this glitch, all you guys need is a hanger or a friend who owns a hanger. And this works no matter which one you own. So if you own the one that I have, you can park your car exactly where I show you in the video. Otherwise, what you need to do is enter the hangar and exit it to see where your character spawns at. And where your character spawns at is relatively near where you need to park your car. So once you have your car in position, go back into the hangar. And this time when you exit the hangar, you're going to be spamming triangle or Y if you're on Xbox. And what's going to happen is the second you get outside, your character is going to automatically be trying to get into your car. And at this point, you can stop spamming. Once you get in your car, your car is going to have the glitch. It's really that easy, guys. So you can do this glitch with any car that you're able to store inside of your garage. The only exceptions that I found are the Deluxo and Oppressor Mark II. So if you were to put your car back in your garage or have your mechanic uh, pick your car up or anything like that, it's going to reset the glitch and you're going to have to do this all over again but you are able to go into a mod shop and repair your car, that will not reset the glitch. So if you're a terrible driver or you crash a lot, especially with this speed glitch, you guys are safe to use the mod shop as much as you want. Now, if you guys use this glitch in online lobbies, I highly recommend you use cars that have high armor on them or cars like the Virtue with, a, with Imani Tech. Anything that prevents people from griefing you because no matter what, this is still GTA and people are going to kill you just to kill you. And if your car blows up, then obviously you got to go back and redo the glitch, which is just really annoying. So cars like the Virtue are really fast and really solid to use anti-griefing. I highly recommend you guys try it out if you have it. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to have fun with this glitch while you guys can, because Rockstar is definitely going to patch it soon, as they do with all the fun glitches in the game. But enjoy it while you can. If you like this video, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.